Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, my friends on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube. Uh, this live interview is for you if you're looking to get more business, more referrals. And my <clears throat> guest is the number one, number one BNI member in the UK. This guy generated for other people in his network more than 12 million pounds in the last 10 years. And the figures in the last 12 months is like 1 million 90, 20, 928 thousand pounds generated for other people. So massive referral machine, Parish Palman. Parish, I'm so I'm so happy that you said yes to this interview so we can share some great tips about business development, about business networking, about referrals. So yes, guys. And uh, share in in your comments, uh, um, you know, some some love. Where are you? Do we have friends from from UK or other countries? Oh, there we go. We have Paul Butterworth here with us. Hello, Paul. Uh, I'm glad that you're here. So, if the subject of referrals, business networking is interesting for you on your clients, share this on Facebook. Share this on. Um, uh, LinkedIn with your connection and friends and let's talk about referrals so I think this subject is very close to my heart and I was this week um, I've been asking on LinkedIn what are your best ways of getting business social media leads or uh, other marketing campaigns referrals word of mouth introductions there are so many ways we can pass business to each other um, so hello. So who we have here? We have some people from uh, from Facebook. Uh, there we go. We have Mariusz. There you go. He's on Facebook right now. And we have Len on LinkedIn. So yes, introduce yourselves, guys. Uh, we can treat it as a networking opportunity as well. So you can get to know yourself and you can get to know Parish, who is number one BNI member in the UK. Parish, thank you so much for coming. Tell us, how do you help your clients, my friends? How, how do you do it? Well, morning, everyone. Um, I think, uh, well, firstly, I'm really excited to be on, on your show, Wojciech. So thank you very much for the invite. Very cool. Um, I like to get to understand uh, the people that I network with. now. My approach to networking is all about relationship building. So I'm not there where lots of people go networking. They're all about farming. They're all about going out there and handing out business cards and trying to get business immediately. And I think the difference between getting business immediately, um, it's not long lasting. Build, you know, building those relationships is so valuable. Mm. So uh, I think you, you just you just nailed it because many people um they just want instant result they yeah. they they do a bit like hunters uh, when we talk about like a bni terminology uh so they will go to a networking meeting uh to shoot the uh, uh the victim straight away then looking they don't look for a long term relationship so yeah, yeah just right up the street uh but um your example of absolute farmer gardener whichever whichever way to look for it so uh, you you plant seeds uh, or you farm you you build these relationships, and then when is the time? When is the time to uh, start picking up the fruits? How long does it take? I mean, we we are talking about ten years of your journey in BNI and more than twelve million pounds of referrals passed to others. Um, so what's the what's the key behind this success? I think um, again when I do one to ones because part of BNI, um, the, you know, the philosophy is give as gain, um, so very much about giving um, and giving without uh, any kind of intention of receiving anything back. So give openly, you know, give with an open heart. Um, think about how you can help people. There's nothing more satisfying and gratifying than helping somebody and getting, you know, a referral for someone that's successful. Um, I think what also people need to understand when you're doing BNI and you're building these relationships is you're giving um, a good qualified leads, good not leads, good qualified referrals. Even we don't call them leads, do we? We call them referrals. So understanding what the client wants to do in terms of your contact, and then also when you speak to your potential referral, um, 
having that lined up effectively and properly. So I will always warm those referrals up, always speak to them. Um, so when one of my members or one of my colleagues is going to give them a call or email them, then it's a warm introduction. So, you know, there's an expectation. So that's that's one of the things I do quite effectively, you know, very effectively, actually. It, it works well. Nice one. And I, I can see a couple of things here. The first thing is being out there to help your network, your business partners, people in your group and outside the group. So instead of asking for something, you first need to you need to give in order to yeah. take in future with no expectation, actually. So it's about helping others, which I really like. It's been very yeah. beneficial to my career and business as well. And the other thing you mentioned is the way the way you do it. So uh, sending quality referrals, warming them up. Um, so uh, be because if you do it wrong, you can actually you can actually spoil relationship with others with with both parties involved in this referral process, right? Correct, correct. I mean, I almost have different levels and different tiers. Um, if we were just looking to, pack, you know, if it was just a, a normal referral, um, I could pick the phone up, have a conversation, refer it in, and or email, introduce, introduce people, and off they go. If I feel it's a much bigger project, uh, and I did this for um, one of my colleagues a few years ago, uh, a telecoms business, um, and I referred this guy in, and the guy had a conversation with one of my clients, and it it was fine. It kind of went well, but it didn't, and he didn't end up getting getting the business. Um, so I picked the phone up to my client and I said, "Have you actually understood and spoken to this uh, member?" And he goes, "Well, he sent me an email, and we've had a telephone conversation." Um, I said, "Look, can I suggest something?" I said, "You and me are having lunch next week." He goes, "Yeah." Would, you, would it be okay if I invite him along for a coffee one hour before? And he goes, yeah, sure, why not? So I literally met them both at Costa, sat them both down, and I said, I believe he's got the tools, the understanding, the knowledge of what you need, and I, I believe you need his services. I'm going to go and make a few phone calls because this is a bit boring for me. I think you two need to get something going. So literally, they sat down for about 40, 45 minutes. It ended up with me being thanked for just over £200,000 worth of business. And that was uh, telecoms, um, it was laptops, it was iPads, it was all, all the IT infrastructure um, that this guy won for this, um, this company. So again, I think there's different tiers of building those relationships. And sometimes you need to not force them, but you need to give them a little bit of a nudge. Nice one. I, I paid I for the coffees it. as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice one. <laughs> um, that's so proactive. And guys, um, do so, you yeah. have any stories when you pass referral or warmed it up? Please share in the comments. We would really appreciate having some, some, some stories like that. And um, oh, sorry, the uh, mobiles are flying here. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and and yeah, the question to you guys: What's the Best, what's the best type of business that you like? Are these referrals or social media leads? Can you share, share with us in the comments? Uh, I'm sure that we'll have some selection of different answers here. Um, and by the way, we have some people on, on, on Facebook, uh, from Facebook group. So if you want your name to be visible, you need to accept the GDPR in a, with, inside the group, or you can join us on uh, Life Networker fan page on Facebook. Uh, so yeah, this way, for example, we can see Marius's um, uh, uh, comment uh, from Facebook. Thank you so much for for this one. Hello, Craig. Great that you're here with us. Um, there you go. Ooh, Yvonne man. is saying both are okay. Social media leads and referrals. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if if you have the right system, the right process, you can generate business from so many sources these days. But hey, for in, in my in my case, my referrals are my favorite way of doing business, um, and and it's so it's so important to care for for the people that you recommend and the people that you're introducing, um, and you can give some extra love like Parish is doing. Uh -huh. And uh, I I saw him many times in action, and I was every single time 
amazed the way he does business, the way he does networking, uh, business development. Uh, I recently invited him to to one of uh, um, networking groups, and uh, and this, one of the first things he did was uh, to be very mindful, listening to other people inside the group. What do what do, what do they need? How he can help them? And uh, one of the person was asking for a contact to one of the law firms in Manchester, and boom! What Paris did? He he took his virtual hat and he basically <laughs> he he said that yeah I'll, I'll be able to help you I'll be able to connect you with this person so instead of trying to sell his services he shared um, his his contact um, so I appreciate that because it's a it was a it was a guy that I knew for a while and he's a great guy so that's why I invited you to generate some <laughs> business opportunities for you and my friends so. Cool. Um, so yeah, it, it, do you always do it, um, or it depends on the situation? I think, um, especially with BNI, it, I think it's relatively easy. Um, if so, we were all asked. Um, I, you passed me photos of my LinkedIn using. Yeah, okay, I agree, Craig. Um, what I do is I um, basically listen out for specific referrals. What I will then do is be very proactive. Not many BNIs do this. So I'll be very proactive. I'll type that into LinkedIn. I will try and connect with the person and send them an in-mail message. And my message will be something along, this, along the lines of, um, hi, uh, Wojciech, uh, we are, we've got a number of mutual connections already, if we have. If we haven't, I've just said, hi, Wojciech, hope everything is well. Um, in my business networking group, um, Craig has asked specifically to be introduced to yourself. And I'll put in there, Craig is a SEO expert, for example. Um, I would like to talk to you. Would you be kind enough uh, to take a call from him? Thank you very much, Parrish. Done. Very simple message. By doing that very proactively, um, and again, unconditionally, um, probably every 10 or so that I do for people, I'll probably get one or two very positive feedback. I'll give you an example. Charity lady in my group a few years ago wanted to get into the um, the the, uh, the CSR corporate uh, social responsibility person at JLR so Jaguar Land Rover massive corporate uh, did did exactly the same thing and got a response from this person saying yeah sure no problems at all here's my number here's my email get her to give me a call and just did that introduction. And that's that's kind of how I've been quite good at giving some good quality referrals. Nice one, nice one. I like that, and I agree with all the points, especially with the one about being specific about what kind of business you want, and sometimes actually asking for the name, yeah. because so many times. And I, I remember it was one of the like big meetings in Manchester. Uh, it was like all day, and. Uh, we had literally 15 seconds uh, between different speakers. Uh, so row of uh, attendees, literally 15 seconds to introduce yourself and talk about your business. And one of the guys, uh, one of the guys was asking for to uh, connection to Mike from uh, iFly in Manchester. And it was so funny because I met the guy that was working there at the time, the very same person he asked, the day before and i still had business card in my pocket and i was like wow this is amazing so i literally during one of the breaks i approached him and i said you, you're not gonna believe this i actually met this guy yesterday and i have still have his business card so we took a photo of us and i did introduction on linkedin hey guys get to know each other uh, you, cool. you will both benefit from from into you know getting to know each other Let's, so, uh, let's, be on, let's be honest, Wojciech. I mean, I, I'm I'm a good BNI member, but you're a prolific networker. So you are you're, you're very good at this, aren't you? Thank you, thank you. Well, uh, I, I'm very passionate about it because um, networking was crucial to my life in the UK um, from from the very beginnings. When when it, it wasn't, it was very tough at the beginning. Uh, new country, um, studying law in the UK. Yeah. 
and with no contact. So I was literally starting from from the very bottom. <laughs> so uh, and one thing that I, I took away from many lessons of my family, especially my grandfather, was um, that the people comes and goes. But the most important part in your life are, um, uh, are relationships, are people. Um, yeah. uh, and uh, even though my family lost massive fortune, um, uh, they still had many friends, many contacts that were very influential. And this relationship, in the case of my grandfather, stayed to the rest of his life. So um, uh, when I realized that that was the missing part in my legal career, because I was a great student, I had great results, but I couldn't find a job. <laughs> and all of a sudden, um, I started doing more networking. I attended a couple of job fairs in Manchester. And, and, and I remember this like it was yesterday. Um, it was in Manchester. After the uh, official part of the job fair, I joined the table with other lawyers. Um, we are talking about football, about Manchester United. And after half an hour, one of, one of the lawyers um, uh, Mike, he was like, "Oh, Wojciech, so you're looking for you're looking for work experience or uh, or job uh, experience, right? In a legal industry? Well, yeah, absolutely. It's like, why don't you try with us? <laughs> oh, nice. And he and he told me the name of his firm, and I was like, Mike, you're not gonna believe this. I sent more than hundred applications, and one of these applications was to your firm. A week ago, I got the rejection." Um, that unfortunately my application was not successful. And he said, you know what? I'm one of the partners. I like you. I'm going to give you a try. Let's, let's do some, wow. let's do some you know, work experience with us. So I've been following him for a couple of weeks. So I had actually better work experience than the others through the official route because I was literally following his, to his meetings, board meetings and other stuff. So I could see the corporate legal world from inside. Uh, and it was amazing. I, so all these applications online, they didn't work. What worked, we, it was someone uh, got to know me, got to like yeah. me. The trust was built, it, built in the process. Yes. So that was the first time I realized, wow, this is really working. <laughs> Trust and credibility, you can't go wrong, can you? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, how, how your journey with networking start? Because um, um, this was one of the questions before this live stream. Um, someone told me, Wojciech, you have massive network. Paris has got massive network. He's number one in the UK. Uh, but how can I start? Um, I just start, start my own business. I left corporate world and I don't know where to start. What would you say to that? I, see, I, I went to, I recently got invited to another networking event um, and I went last week. And um, what you find with traditional networking events is, Lots of people stand around having a coffee, having a glass of wine, which is generally nicer, um, and they hand out business cards, and they you hope something comes of it. And I think the key with building a network is the follow-up. So you may walk away from a networking event, you, only, you pick up four, five, six different cards, and then you go home, you put it, or you go to the office, you put the cards on the side, you might drop them, you know, a LinkedIn request. You might drop them a call. But actually, have you followed up? And this is time consuming. This isn't something that's, um, you know, just going to be done instantly, instant rapport, instant relationship building. This comes with time. And you've got to put a little bit of graft, a little bit of time. You may meet someone for a coffee. Um, I think what's really cool now, and I suppose the silver lining of the dreaded COVID pandemic, is you can connect with somebody and do a half an hour Zoom call or a Teams call and have a one-to-one -one and just get to know somebody initially via via an online portal. So I think that's, that's I think that's quite a nice way to start having those initial conversations. What I love about BNI is you go every week, you meet those people, you inevitably build relationships and you start to talk to people. But I think you've got to go out there and you've got to put that effort in, to be honest in whatever you do. Couldn't agree more. It's all about, you know, putting your heart out there. 
So yeah. definitely you did that today with us. Thank you so much for sharing all the tips. Um, uh, Paresh, really appreciate that. Thank you for all the comments, guys. So we got really some golden golden nuggets here. So Craig, and this is what we, you, you do as well, Paresh. So you use LinkedIn as a way to warm up referrals. Um, yeah. So uh, how, how, how do you use LinkedIn as well? If you could, if you could share with us um, to all my introductions, do you do any lead generation on LinkedIn? I actually uh, have a I actually have a company um, that does business development, so sales and lead gen using LinkedIn. And so what we do is we target we target our for our customer, we target their client base that they want to be connected to. Once we connect with them, we email them. Once we get a response, we invite them for either a Zoom call or a meeting, and that way we get their mobile number and we get their email address. And then one of our team will actually physically pick the phone up have a conversation with them and book them into a, an actual uh, a diarized, you know, diarized slot. So they're actually in the diary for our clients. So we do that very effectively. So we feel that's a very good way of going out there. So it's not cold. It's not cold calling. It's not telemarketing. You've got a connection. It's warm. And you start warming that up for your clients. So we do that that's very right. effectively. In, inadvertently, I do that for my BNI guys at, at no cost. So I, I'll do that for BNI members anyway. But that that's you know specific referrals, you know. So nice one. No, oh, I, I love it. I love it. And um, you know what? I think you 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 will both benefit, you and Craig, if you have a one to one. He's of a course. great LinkedIn expert. I had a one to one with him. He's got a fantastic LinkedIn tool as well. So I I, I think you will benefit um, if you get to know each other. Uh, Craig is also BNI member, so uh, you can put it as a one to one on the system. There you go. Let's so, do that. There you go. We have Philip. Uh, referrals are always the best. I have always been a referral. Once I had a referral for an air conditioning system, but also the person looking for the job to be done was trying to play the price game with different specs. There you go. Referrals. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. So um, if, you, if you enjoy this session, if you find this valuable, share this on LinkedIn, share this on Facebook with your, uh, with your friends. What do we have here? There you go. Craig, also BNI. There you go. Kirit, um, the accountant from uh, from London, as I recall. Yeah, it was great to, to meet you at the training the other day. So, yeah, nice one. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I, I like that you, you enjoy this session. That's what that's what we do it. That's what we do it. So it's, it's great networking. We can share some experiences, some stories. Uh, I love it. There you go. Face to face, drinking coffee or a glass of wine. Oh yes, we all missed face to face. Okay. Are you back to face to face meetings, uh, Paresh? No, I think we're we're back to face to face next next week. I think first of October. Mm -hmm. First of October, we go back to face to face. I've been out, to be honest, face to face, um, having coffees and meetings anyway for for quite quite a while. So um, yeah, no, it should be should be quite good. Uh, actually, we've got our first. Um, green club in the in birmingham today so west midlands first green club which is face to face so that's going to be this afternoon so i'm sure i'll, nice. I'll have a pint of beer in my hand or a glass of wine for sure yeah do enjoy it it's so you're, different you're, than zoom i mean almost and other facilities like that are great um and they are definitely time saving convenient and you know it all guys you've been very active on linkedin and other platforms but there is something magical about face-to-face -face meeting and we've met so many times face-to-face -face, and it's been a while actually so let me know when you're next time in manchester um uh, i will let you know when uh, when when i'm in uh, mid the midlands in your area so we can have a proper one-to-one -one face to face eh i'm going to come up especially to see you voyage it so i'll make that we'll <laughs> make that you know, especially we need we we have some business to discuss so uh, that's 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 what it's all about so uh uh, yeah, uh, nice one, nice one. Uh, thank you so much for this, uh, Parish, uh, for 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 sharing the experiences. Oh, actually, the last one, the last one. Perfect. Can you share? Uh, you already shared some stories with us. Uh, can you can you share with us one more referral story from the recent weeks? Some some kind of uh, story of success when you pass a referral, you got a referral. And it was warmed up and happy days. Thank you for for business and everyone is. Uh, oh my god! Happy. Another referral. Um, I actually referred a um, 
via one of my connections, I referred. Um, it, it, we were under NDA, but it, it's a very large corporate contract uh, into the video guy in BNI, and uh, it took about three months to get kind of warmed up and going. Um, they signed a contract uh, about six or seven weeks ago, and they started work with this company. Um, and they're doing all the virtual tour videos um, for all of their centers around the UK and then hosting them. Um, the contract itself is worth some somewhere between, I think, 3.5 to 4 million pounds over the next two years. So that's something that's just recently happened, which is quite exciting. Um, I, I've got to say, you probably I don't know if you, you, you know this, Voice Chair. Um, I started BNI with, I think, three businesses. Um, I currently got 15 companies. So VNI has been very, very good to me. So I, I've got involved in a lot of opportunities and a lot of businesses um, on my VNI journey. Um, so it's been very, very lucrative and very nice successful. So, yeah, I'm nice quite lucky. And it's so great that you now you benefited so much from networking, from referrals, from BNI and other groups, uh, and now you can give it back. So you do a bit of number of um, volunteering, number of charity works as well, mm -hmm. which I really, really like. This is the way, definitely, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've just got involved with, and again, it was BNI. Lady came to BNI, um, part of a, an organization called Ordinary Magic. And Ordinary Magic are a CIC, so not for profit organization. And what they do is they um, support children uh, in the local area for mental health and anxiety. So I was looking to do something to give back. Um, they were looking to open up a coffee shop in Solihull. Um, so I know. Um, the the touchwood his local shopping center um that the guy that runs that uh, managed to put them in contact and we managed to source a shop and we opened up a, a shop called magic bean coffee shop on soil high street where um it's a not-for-profit um i've ended up being the non a non-exec director just supporting the uh, the organization um we've also implemented um you know like we've got um locally we've got a a good you know, high-end ice cream called Henny Ice Creams, which is a go-to place. So we managed to get them to supply us as well. So coffee, ice cream, cakes. So if you're in Solihull, guys, come and come and grab a one-to-one -one at the Magic Bean. It's always, always good to give back. Nice one, nice one. And it, it actually fits with this question from uh, Jacek. Jacek is the uh, really cool guy uh, from uh, Optimal Solicitors in Manchester. It's probably i think it's the biggest uh polish owned law firm in the uk um, so uh yata did great stuff with business development for this company um so morning guys what type of meetings one-to-ones are best coffee meeting or something different what would you say to that i think it all depends on you as an individual some people like just doing a Zoom, and that works very effectively. Some people like meeting over a coffee. Um, I, don't, I, I genuinely believe if you have a meeting, and we all know this as salespeople, if you have a, a meeting with somebody over drink or food, there's going to be more engagement. Um, the, what I like is when you're in front of somebody face-to-face, -face, you're not just talking about your business, are you? You get on Zoom, and it's very much business, business, business. You meet somebody for a coffee or a beer, or in a social environment, you're talking about um, your family, you're talking about where you live, your children, your holiday, you're building some very good solid rapport. And, and it's building that rapport that will generate um, the long-term relationship that eventually will come into business. Um, I believe you do business with people you like as opposed to just doing business. Sometimes you do business because you have to do business but you're more likely to give business and do business with people you like. And I think that's so important. Absolutely. Absolutely. Couldn't, couldn't agree more with this one. And uh, just, just recently we, we signed up with a new client from Manchester financial services and uh, uh, the gent was asking for social media help. Uh, so yeah. he instantly on Facebook, LinkedIn, he got like 20, 30 companies, uh, trying to to get the contract um through the phone calls or through uh, uh through the uh, zoom meetings and what i did i straight away tried to meet with him in person and we met in wellesley 
And it was so much different to get to know each other in person, have that chat. And a big part of the meeting, we were just talking about life, about each other, about what our goals and, you know, getting to know each other on a personal level. Yeah. And I, I believe that was, that was the crucial bit in his decision to, to start with us. Yes. So, you, uh, so definitely, definitely couldn't I, agree more. I uh, bet you were talking about Man United, weren't you, Wojciech? <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> but you never know. You know, I, I, I'll be, I'll be trying to, to get there. <laughs> well, not, not the best result yesterday, but hey, uh, yeah. when it comes to sales, I have often found out that warmed up introduction has been the key to the door of resistance. Absolutely, Craig. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, thank you guys. Really, really cool um, uh, questions here. Uh, engagement. There you go. Ah, my God. There you go, guys. We have some networking going on here in the comments. That's what we like. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm, I really encourage you guys to uh, put your uh, LinkedIn profile links here to connect, uh, get to know each other. We have Len here. So if you want to get connected with accountants, it's great to have one-to-one -one with Len because he helps accountants with his software. So uh, there are some really powerful connections here present live. There will be so many people watching it recorded on Facebook, on YouTube, on LinkedIn. And networking is working, as you can imagine. And it was a key to success of Paresh and my success. I may not be there yet when it, when i compare myself to yourself parish but i'm closer than i was yesterday <laughs> i think you're um, i think you're right up there you're thank you so much there. mate really appreciate it thank you for your time thank you for your time guys <laughs> i really really appreciate it have a great day and see you next week 8 30 in the morning i always invite absolute cracking um, um guests uh, so uh so next week you're in for a treat again so put it in your calendar to come on regular basis to learn and to do networking together here on linkedin facebook and youtube have a great day cheers thank you